All right, let's head out to the garden and pull some stuff up. Okay, it is a very nice cloudy day, so it is not a million degrees outside. I feel really good and I feel like my energy level and my happiness level definitely fluctuate with the weather. Right now it is slightly cool but not cold and it's just nice out. So I'm gonna pull these. These are, I think they were supposed to be broccoli and maybe there's a cauliflower in here and a bunch of that looks like kale. I'm gonna pull these and we're gonna put something else in this bed. This is our first year doing semi-raised-ish beds. I've seen a lot of people say that you should um, just cut them off at the base and leave the roots in, which I'm going to do, but I want to pull up one of them just to see the root system because I don't really remember what the root system of broccoli looks like. Okay, so that might seem a little weird, but you can read about it, but I feel like I learn best like when I've actually lived it. So if I could see it, I, I won't forget. All right. All right, so here you can see how big the top of the broccoli is compared to how big the roots are. And why do I need to know that? Um, so that I know when I'm planting things, like for instance, I have this lettuce mixed in with these uh, carrots. And here, let me pull a lettuce for you. They have just the smallest, it's like almost not even roots. Like, like they're so small. So knowing that, like knowing how big these roots are, knows, knows that now I know that I can plant these with my root crop, but they're not gonna interfere with, with them. They're not gonna compete with them going down and these are like barely skimming the surface. It also lets me know if I want to plant them in a pot. How deep does my pot have to be really for lettuce? It doesn't have to be very deep really at all. What? Snack pieces. Snack pieces? Yeah. He calls the snap piece snack pieces. I think he just didn't understand what I said so he calls them snack pieces and I'm like well they kind of are snack pieces. All right so I'm gonna snap these off at the base. Um, the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have a lot of friends who do raised bed gardening and, you know, the whole don't disturb the soil, and they just say that's better. So, I'm going to listen to them. Get away from Get away from my coffee. It's not your coffee. So, I took out all the, most of what was in here. I left a few radishes that have gone to seed just because I want the seeds. My other see, helper. Can I say something about the garden? Yeah. Hang on. All right. Yeah. What do you want to say? That it's good to have a garden, and it gives us a lot and lots of food for us to survive. And that I'm thankful for mommy to even make it. Thanks for working on it, guys. Have a good time. What is it? Milkweed. Milkweed, yes. So, yeah, you made a cut on it. Milkweed. Yep, so this is this is the milk part of milkweed. This is the sap that comes out. So milkweed is actually toxic, so you don't want to be eating it and whatnot. And um, the sap actually is the most toxic part, so. Okay, all the chickens need to get out of the garden. Come on, Let's all, come on. Chick, 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 come on, come on chickies. Come on, rooster, come on. This, this fence does not stop them, but it does deter them. Um, they get through, but they usually stay over there. And they always have food. Like, they're, they always have food. They just like my garden. Look at these two. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you eating the radish seeds that I'm saving to plant? Is that what's going on over here? Yeah. Yeah. Get down. Go on out. What's up, sugar puff? I'm having a good time. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having a good time. All right, well, let's let's go ahead and water parts of the garden over here. Okay, it's a little windy, and also it's a little disjointed because that's just kind of how it goes. So I came out here to cut down the spring stuff and plant more summer stuff and then get it ready for fall, but and now we're watering and chasing chickens. And... So every year we buy one of those watering wands, and every year it breaks, so I'm just I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not buying another one. So what is this? This is their village? Um, Chick Village. Chick Village. We should write a, we should write a sign on blocks to make Chick Village. After that, 
Chick Village. I don't even remember what I was talking about before that. I feel like this YouTube channel is very disjointed. It's kind of chaotic. It's my life. It's very whatever. I have four active coffee cups right now, and I don't even know where they are. Oh, there's one here. No coffee in it, though. Is there coffee in it? Oh, we have a winner. What are you eating? Is that the applesauce they made from our apples? Eating it out of a shot glass? Yep. See, you drew on your face. That's lovely. Right there. Yeah. Okay, so the original goal was to come out here and cut these down, and I did. Did it take a long time? Yes, but I did it. Now I need to figure out what I want to put back in here. I kind of just want to put back flowers, but I'm supposed to be planting food. It's too early for well, fall yeah, crops. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I've decided that the best course of action is just to plant whatever we currently have. And I have some baby crookneck squash. I also have some melons, but those are going to trail way too much for this little bit. So we're going to put these squash in here. And actually, this will be a good test because I have some radishes here that have gone to seed. And I've heard several people lately saying that... Oh, did you spill my coffee? That's okay. Oh, another one bites the dust. Okay, so that's okay. It's okay. I'll get more coffee. Um... Several people have said that if you plant radishes around your squash, that the squash bugs won't get them. And so we are going to test that theory. I'm also plant. I'm just going to plant radishes everywhere and test that theory because I hate those guys. You found your snack peas again. Really gone full circle. You're there with the snack peas. I forgot when I was walking. I forgot about them too. All right, they're in put one here and then I started digging a hole right here because I always forget how big these things got, get. We usually plant them about four feet apart so I put the other one over here. I hope that's enough room in between them. They should be able to kind of do their own thing. Okay so mission accomplished. Pulled these up, put something in. It only took like two hours. <laughs> Long time. That's okay. It got done. Feel good about that. And then I was going to pull up these cabbages, but they're just so pretty. I can't. They just make me so happy every time I look at them, but even if they're covered in caterpillars, I guess I'll just let them go. All right, guys, I'm going to go refill my coffee cup. Um, until next time, peace out. This is penguins. Oh. This is the big chicks. This is the small chicks. They all have their own houses? Yes. Great. Oh, Bing, bing.